everybody. It's Miss Allie. Welcome to Minimo Online. Today, we are going to learn that God protects you. I've got some cool hand motions I want to teach you. Ready? God protects you. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Ready? God protects you. And we're going to learn this with three friends and an egg. Okay? So our story today is found in the Old Testament. And it has three friends, and we're going to introduce them to you. They have some pretty crazy names, so we're going to try them. Their names are Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. All right, so these are our three friends. The Old Testament was written before Jesus was born, and the New Testament was written after Jesus was born. So these guys lived before Jesus was born. And they lived in a place called Babylon. And there was a king in Babylon named King Nebuchadnezzar. And he really, really loved himself. He loved himself so much that he built a really tall golden statue. And every day, whenever a harp would sound or a gong, you had to stop everything you were doing and you had to bow down and worship this statue. Well, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego worshiped the one true God. So do you think they are going to bow down to a statue? No, they weren't going to bow down to a statue. And that made King Nebuchadnezzar super, super mad. So mad that one day he took a fiery furnace. He burned that thing up seven times hotter than normal. It was so hot, you guys, that when someone got near it, they melted. And so they put, so the King Nebuchadnezzar put Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in this fiery furnace. And then he looked at it and he goes, wait a second. One two, three, four. There were four people in this fiery furnace. And you know what? They're all just hanging out, having a good time. I'm pretty sure if they had marshmallows, they would have been roasting them. And King Nebuchadnezzar goes, what's going on? What's happening? It looks like there's a divine being in there protecting you. And there was. They were being protected because God protects you just like he protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in this fiery furnace. You know what? In Daniel chapter 3, verse 27, it says not even a hair on their head was burned, and they didn't even smell like smoke. I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever been camping and you've been near a fire, you smell like smoke for weeks. You can't get it out of your clothes. You can't get it out of your nose. You can't get it out of your hair. But they didn't smell like any of that because God protected you and God protects them as well. So what does this have to do with an egg? Well, you have an egg. We're going to do a little, we're going to do a little experiment, a little fun. Let's see if we can do it. So you have an egg, you have a hard outer shell and inside of it, you have a soft, squishy yolk. That's pretty fun to squish. Honestly, you have a soft, squishy yolk. So let me ask you something. Do you think eggs could hold me if I stood on them? All raw eggs. Do you think they could do it? Do you think that hard outer shell could protect those eggs? Well, let's see. Let's try. First, I got to take my shoes off. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Here we go. You ready? I'm a little nervous about this, you guys, because we could have lots of scrambled eggs all over the floor. So, we learned today that what? God protects you. So to help you remember that God protects you, we're going to step on some raw eggs and see if I can stand up on them. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. These eggs are holding me. And I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh, but it's not 15 pounds, okay? It's not 20 pounds. It's a lot of pounds. And these eggs can hold my weight. And the the shell is protecting the yolk, just like God can protect you. So what does this mean for us now? Well, your parents might be telling you about this virus and you can't go see your friends. You can't, you have to wash your hands every five seconds. You can't go to the park. You can't go to the restaurant and get chicken nuggets and french fries. You can't even go to school right now. You're having to do it at at home. So what I want you to remember is that God protects you Your parents are trying to protect you. And one day when all this is over, you will go back to school. 
you will go get to play with your friends and you will have, you will go get to go to that restaurant and get fried chicken and French fries and eat it until you explode. So right now in this time when we're at home and hanging out, I want you to remember when you see an egg in your refrigerator that God protects you. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week. And you know, I'm not going to lie. All this egg talking and fires have got me really, really tired. So I think I'm going to go back and finish my nap. Bye. Oh. <sighs>